So hi everyone, so today what I want to do is show you how to do what they call my clips on your Olympus camera. Now if you're not familiar with uh, my clips, basically what it is, is a, it's a very powerful video editor built right into your Olympus camera. And what that allows you to do is say over uh, you know, the course of a day or over several days, like on a vacation, you can take pictures and video clips and then put them all together into a single video or a montage of your trip or vacation or your day out at the park like I've been doing the last couple of days. Um, and it's, it's very, very easy to do, but you have to be very deliberate, okay? So I'm gonna give you a few tips to help you get started. Uh, and then you can kind of go crazy from there because I've only been using it a couple of days myself But I thought it was a really neat feature that I, I really haven't seen anyone else talking about uh, I'm gonna go through all the settings that I use uh, To make the videos and then we'll just do one here in real life. Um, I'll just be uh, taking pictures of my girl dog over here Ellie uh, You know just take a few pictures and take a few clips and then we'll go back into the camera and put them together and Make a video montage and we'll do that at the end all right, so let's go into the camera and start changing some of the settings that'll help you get started. Uh, I've already done a factory reset and I've changed a couple of settings, so I'll show you what they are. Based on auto white balance, auto ISO, but I changed to single point focus. I changed to continuous low with continuous autofocus. And then I changed the uh, image quality to large fine plus raw here. I'm also gonna change this to 16 by nine because when you create your videos in the my clips, it, it creates a 16 by nine video, just you know, like a normal size video. So you wanna take your pictures and frame your pictures with that in mind. All right, now let's go back into the menu. Uh, let's go into the display menu, control settings, PASM, because I'm shooting an aperture priority, uh, and we're gonna change this to live control or add live control to the uh, display menu because the live control has an extra setting in it that you don't have in the super control panel and that's the video mode. Now the EM1 Mark II has it but the, the, most of the other Olympus cameras don't. So let's go into the super control panel. Now if I click the info button that'll now take me into the live control and then I can scroll down to the video settings. Because in, in the, the video I saw by Gavin Hoey, <clears throat> he told you to put the camera into video mode. But I rarely do that. When I'm recording video, I just set the settings in the live control and then push the record button based on the settings I used on live control and what I have settings I have for my photos. And that also help with the continuity of your uh, end video, your montage, that everything's kind of in the same uh, color mode or picture mode, etc. Now, for video mode, you can't just record any kind of video for the My Clips. The My Clips, you have to use a special, what they call video clips. And that's right in this menu. So I will go in here again and I'll scroll over until I see it there. Right there. You see this, this menu setting has a little on off here, right there. This is the My Clips video menu. So any, any videos that you record in this mode can be added to the My Clips video editor uh, that's in the camera. It's, you can't just record any kind of video of any length into uh, your camera, then put them into the My Clips. You have to use this particular feature. So that's very important. But let me show you some settings that I think will help you too. So to change these settings, you go into Info, now you can change the quality of the movie, all intro being the best, but I'm gonna use super fine. I'm gonna be using 30p. And then you can change the clip recording time to one second, two seconds, four seconds, or eight seconds in this camera. I think on my Pen PL8 that's recording, it has like a four second limit. But, uh, and then right here you have a slow motion, fast motion. So you can record clips in slow motion or in, in you know 3.5x times speed. Let's just start out with, uh, sorry, let's just hit the info button. Let's just start out with a regular video. So we're going to turn slow motion, fast motion off like so. Now, the reason I picked Superfine and 30p is because, let's say I picked all intro. I want the very best quality. 
You'll see here that the slow motion fast motion has been disabled. I'm not able to change it. But if I change it back to super fine, I can now record in slow motion or fast motion. So we're going to leave it at that. Also, I'm recording in 30p for the same reason. Because if I change this to 60p, the slow motion, fast motion is disabled. So that's why I have super fine 30p. So I'm always going to use that video recording mode for my mic clips and I never change it. The only thing I may change is the timing. I might go to a four second clip instead of an eight second clip. All right, now, when you're in Aperture Priority and you push the record button, any settings you had when you were taking pictures are gonna be applied to the recording mode. So for example, let me click the info button and go back to the super control panel. Whoops, I have to get out of this video thing. Sorry, let me do that again. The info button right now is toggling the uh, settings for the clips video. So let's just go here. If I click the info button here, <clears throat> any settings I have in the super control panel, like if I'm recording in say monotone, or taking pictures in monotone, the camera's gonna record video in monotone. And maybe that's what you want, but just be aware of that. Whatever settings you have in your aperture priority for photos, like if I'm dialing in negative minus one compensation, et cetera, those same settings are gonna be applied to your video. Uh, except for the uh, autofocus mode. So you may not wanna be in single point autofocus when you're doing video. You always wanna be in continuous autofocus. Now I happen to set it this time to continuous autofocus for my pictures. But to be sure, when you're in video mode, oops, where is that? It's up here. Autofocus, manual focus, AF mode, click over. You can make sure that the movie mode is in continuous autofocus right here. And then, let me change one more thing since I'm going to be taking pictures of my dog running, I need to make sure continuous autofocus release is off here. So that way the camera won't take a picture uh, if it's out of focus, or it'll only take a picture when it thinks it has focus. It doesn't always have focus. Um, and that's really it. All right, let me go back to a natural color profile. I'm going to change my white balance to uh, cloudy because it's cloudy today. Why not? All right, that's it. And those are all the settings that I'm going to be using uh, that I can use in the My Clips uh, video editor. Is any pictures I take in large, super fine plus raw. Oh, did I have super fine? Yeah, large, fine plus raw. Let me change that to super fine. Down here. Set. I'll just do both of these just to be sure. Let me check. Okay, now we're in large super fine plus four. That's where I'm getting the best quality JPEG out of this camera. And that's it. All right, I'm gonna call my dog. We're gonna take a few pictures, take a few videos in slow motion, fast motion, and regular motion. And then we're gonna go into the house where it's a lot warmer and uh, put these together in my clips. All right, so I'll be right back. Come here. What are you doing? Oh. All right, I'm going to record some video here. There, that was an eight second clip. Now you'll notice that the, uh, it says right away, add it to my clips. And that's probably something you haven't seen before when you recorded video and it does a little replay. And there's some options down here. I can push down and then I can arrange it into different orders. But since this is the first one I've taken, there's, nothing, there's nowhere to move it to. Or I can push up and just play the video full screen. All right, but let me tap the shutter button and let's go back to taking pictures. Now, let me do a slow motion video of her. So uh, I'm gonna dial in just a plus three. I must have, this is the only thing I don't like about this. The M10 Mark II is so easy to, to, to rotate these uh, dials on top. 
But uh, let's go into, I'm gonna click the info button, go into the live control and change this to slow motion. So I can just scroll around until I see 0.5x motion. So now it's gonna record in slow motion at half speed. So let me see if I can get her. You gonna give me that stick? <clears throat> oh. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Let's see how that came out. All right, that's a good clip of her in slow motion. I like that. All right, let's do one in fast double speed. So I'll go into the live control and click the info button. And we'll do a 2x speed. Now when you do 2x speed, instead of an eight second clip, you're going to get a 16 second clip. So let's just do one like that. find a ball but I think what I'll do is I'll just do a shorter one 16 seconds is too long let's do let's do a four second clip but because I'm in uh, fast motion it's gonna be an eight second clip so All right, I think that's good enough for demo purposes. Uh, did I get any pictures of her yet? Oh, lame attempt, shutter speed's too slow. So I'm getting a lot of motion blur. So I'm gonna switch over to shutter priority. And uh, crank my shutter speed up to 1000. And we'll just do that. I'm gonna crank my ISO up too. So. There we go, 25,000. There, now I should have no problem with shutter speed. Let's try this again. There we go. Let's see if any of those got in there. Not bad. Yeah, there's a keeper. Let's get another one. I wish the light was better. I could get better. Uh, let's do a slow, mo slow motion of me playing tug with her. So we'll do half speed, the maximum eight seconds. You want it? <laughs> Not bad. All right, one other thing uh, that you can do is you can go over that eight second limit. I think it'll record up to 15 seconds, but instead of pushing the, the record button once and letting go, if you hold the record button down, it'll stay recording for up to 15 seconds. Uh, so if you're in normal mode, it'll be 15 seconds. If you're in uh, half speed, slow motion, it'll do, uh, you know, seven or eight seconds and so on, depending on whatever uh, shutter speed or uh, time setting you set in the, uh, the clips video. So uh, we're going to go inside because uh, it's just getting too dark out here and uh, put those together and just make a very short video. All right, so let's go ahead and review the pictures and videos I just did. So I'll just click the play button like I normally do. 
But you'll notice on the movies now, with the normal information you see, you'll also see a little clapper up here with the number one next to it. And that tells you that that's a My Clip video, in addition to just being a regular eight second video or however long it was. And there's the uh, pictures I took of her running. So I'm just doing a scan and I'm trying to think about how I want to arrange these next. All right, now let's see how we can uh, start combining the pictures and the video and then create a single video montage. So you want to go into the My Clips video by rotating backwards. And then there's the first screen you'll see is all of the videos all together. But if you scroll back again, and you may have run into this, you'll see where it says My Clips. And the uh, camera has automatically added every video clip I've taken because I recorded everything using the My Clips setting that we did in the Live View, our Live Control Panel. And I don't really want to use all of these. But you have to be careful because if I just click OK here and then do a race, it's actually going to erase that video <laughs> off the card. You don't want to do that. A better way to do it is let's go back into the My Clips by rotating this dial back like so. Oops, went too far right there. And I forget which one I wanted to keep. Let me look at this one, or which one I want to delete. Like, I don't think this one was very good. If I play this one by itself, yeah, this was not very good. But let's say I don't want to delete it. I just don't want to put it in the My Clips. What I can do is click OK, do Rearrange, and then move it up into here into a new clip, like so, just by pushing the up arrow. Now you'll see I have two sets of my clips. This camera, I think, will let you do up to 99 individual my clips uh, or individual movies. <clears throat> so what I do is I use, like, um, I create another clip of movies, and that'll sort of be like my trash bin relative to the video editing part of this. These are the videos in up here that I don't want to use. So, uh, Let's see what else I got in here. If I just click my play my clips here, it'll just start from the beginning and play everything all the way across. But I don't, you know, so you don't want to do that. Whoops. Let me go back in. All right, now. Let's see if I want this one. Oh, that's one of the high speed ones. Okay, that one's not too bad. Let's see this one. That's the slow speed one. <laughs> and if I click the menu button, it'll go back to the My Clips uh, editing part. Let me check this one. Oh, I don't like this one either, so I'm going to move this out. Like so. And let's look at another one. This one I want to keep. Yeah, I like that one. All right, click Menu, go back. How about this one? Let's add some pictures to that. So I'm going to review my pictures now. Let me find one. I think these were blurry because I didn't have, oh, this one's all right. That one's not bad. I'll keep that one. Now, uh, I want to frame this a little bit differently too, but um, let me see if I can apply uh, some uh, art filters to it. Let's try, I always like um, dramatic tone. Ugh, no, not today. Let's do a diorama, kind of blur the top and bottom. Okay, there we go, that'll work. And uh, everything else looks good. So I'll click okay, 
and I'll say yes. Reset, if you click reset here, it'll just take you back to the original raw file and then you can do another edit. But I'm just gonna say no because I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna click OK and then I'm gonna say add to my clips like this. And it added it actually to number two set of clips, which is my recycle bin. So I'm just gonna move it down and we'll make this, uh, let's put it here. I think this is where she's running with the stick right here. Okay, and then I'll click OK. And then let me click the play button and go back. Let's pick another uh, picture. Those were all blurry. Oh, wait. These are, I see that one. That one's okay. Oh, I like that one. All right. So all I have to do is, let's say I don't want to do any edits because it looks pretty good the way it is. Click OK. And then I'll scroll down here to add to my clips like that. And then I want to check again, make sure I'm in the right uh, my clips row here. I'm in number one. So we'll put that, let's say, right about there. Let's put it there. Let's check if there's anything else I want. I think that's it. All right, so we've just put together some pictures and movies. Okay, so I'll click the play button, rotate back until I see my clips, and I'm in my clips number one. So let me preview and make sure I'm happy with this order. So all I have to do is click OK, play my clips, and then we can watch it. And you can probably hear my voice in the video. Now when you're recording slow motion or fast motion, there's no audio. Just so you know, I forgot to mention that outside. That's good, she's running with the stick. Oh, I think that's her monkey. I don't think that's a stick. <laughs> she loves that monkey. There's a picture of that, there's a picture there. Now, I noticed that one of the pictures was not in a 16 by nine format. So what I need to do is go back and change that so it's in a 16 by nine format. Because you might be taking pictures and, and forget to do that or what have you. Okay, did it finish yet? All right. So let me go back into the, the my sets uh, or my clips and see which picture that was. I think it was it was this picture here was not in a 16 by nine. And remember, this is one I created uh, from the raw file, so I can erase it here. And all it's gonna do is erase the JPEG, not the raw file. So let me go, let me erase just this JPEG. Go back to the raw file. So I'm gonna click play twice. Find that picture again. It was this one, right? And that was this one. Yeah, it was this one. So I'm gonna do an edit one more time. And I already picked a diorama, so I'll click OK. And let me change it from, see I had it set to four by three, so let me change this to six by nine like that, and now we're good. So we'll say yes, click no here, click OK again, add to my clips, and we'll put this over here, like so. All right, and then this tells me when I'm in the play menu that this is in my clips one, you'll see the little icon up here. All right, one last look. We'll go back into the My Clips menu, My Clips row number one, click OK, push play, and just watch it again. Make sure there's nothing weird. Huh. <laughs> 
<laughs> she loves that monkey. It's a little stuffed animal. It's like her best friend. She tears everything up, but that monkey, she's never torn apart. She's had that thing for like a year now. All right, this is looking pretty good. Now what we need to do is uh, what they call export. Is this a good place to end it? Yeah, that's, a, that's as good a place as any to end it. So let's click OK here. Now if we didn't like the, where this pi particular picture was, we can click OK and rearrange it like we did before. But I, I kind of liked where it was. Let's see what else is in here. Preset destination, just ignore that. Uh, basically what that's telling you is every time you record a movie, it'll add it to the, the My Clips that you're in now, um, if it's in the same format. But since I'm recording everything, and by format I mean recording format, super fine 30p, um, it's going to add it to the My Clips anyway. So you can, this is, this is not a very useful feature, I don't think. Uh, this is important. Don't ever use this delete my clips because if you do that, it's not going to delete that row. Well, it'll delete that row, but it'll also delete all of the pictures and movies too. So never use that. Only use erase when you know you've shot JPEG plus raw because then it'll only erase the JPEG portion. If you only shoot in raw, and add a picture here and then erase it. It's gonna erase the raw file. So that's why I always shoot large superfine plus raw in case I accidentally delete it here. I can go back to the raw file and recreate the JPEG. So I only wanna add JPEG images to the My Clips. But this is where we add the music is in the export My Clips. So we'll click OK here. And you can add effects here. Let's add the uh, and this is going to be applied to the entire movie. You can add a pop art filter on top of the movie. You can do high, uh, what's that say, light tone, I'm sorry, it's a little blurry. Uh, pinhole is okay. Cross process. So if you want to add a certain look to the entire uh, output, you know, for continuity, you can do that here. I'm going to use old film. I like to use old film uh, because since we're mixing stills and pictures together, I think that old film look kind of gives a little more continuity between the stills and the movies. The other thing that it does is the image stabilization on this camera is awesome for still photography, but for video, that 5-axis stabilization is not very good. <laughs> um, I did a test on that earlier. So sometimes the video is a little bit jerky, um, more so than my other cameras. So I like to use old film because then it's sort of that jerkiness kind of adds to the effect rather than distracts from it. So I'm going to choose old film filter on top. And then transition effect is so that there's a little bit of a fade in between the pictures and movies. It's very, very subtle, but it's better than having no fade and having quick transitions. Uh, again, that's, that's a subjective choice, but um, I like to use the fade. Now BGM, background music, that's what that stands for. I picked Happy Days, but you can scroll over and pick different ones. But if I scroll over to the right again, you'll see no BGM file, okay? And that's because, and I think the default one loaded in there is called Joy, which is the worst one in my opinion. Uh, I have to, do a video on how to do that separately. But basically what you do is you go to the Olympus website. You can search uh, BGM files for Olympus in Google and it'll take you to the page where Olympus has about 16, I think, different music video or music files that you can load onto the SD card into a separate folder called a BGM folder. And then when you have that on the card and you would put it on the same card that your pictures are on, it doesn't have to be. You can do it separately, I suppose, but I always put it on the same card that the pictures are on. Uh, and then you can choose from all the different ones, but you can only have one BGM file or music file in at a time uh, in the camera. Otherwise, they have to be on the SD card.
to have the other choices. So I already preloaded Happy Days here. Let me go back in there. Oops, I went too far. There. Um, and then I can preview. And we've already done that once. But it previews it with the music. Now right here, recorded clip volume, I'm going to turn this off. Because what that does is, if you recorded the video at normal speed, it's going to record the audio with it as well. And I guess that's useful if you're doing some kind of narration and it was quiet, but all I was doing was doing some test shots for you guys. So I'm not going to add my own voice into the audio. Uh, I just want the music to be 100%. And then I just click Begin Export. All right, that took about three, three minutes, maybe four minutes to put together. Sometimes it's faster, sometimes a little slower, I, you know, but uh, make sure you have a full battery in the camera when you're doing this, right? Okay, so I'm gonna click OK here. And then all I have to do is play this. So I'll click OK, play movie. All right, so one other tip uh, that I already shared with you in my last video for this uh, prematurely is uh, you can add video titles and text to the, uh, the My Clips by simply taking a picture <laughs> of your phone. If you're using one, you can get one of those uh, text scrolling apps. Just search for that in the Google Play Store. I'm not familiar with Apple, but I'm sure they got something similar where you can just type in some text and it'll display it on the screen of your phone or your tablet. Or you can just write onto a piece of paper and take a picture of the piece of paper. So watch my last video, I think episode 110, where I do some examples of that. Uh, and then once you take those pictures of the different titles, you can insert them in different places along the way uh, to, you know, add some more context to what the pictures are about, right? You can say, oh, we're at the uh, big Disney castle, or, I mean, maybe not something that obvious, but you know what I mean. All right, everyone, so that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, if you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments below. I uh, hope you don't mind I kind of rushed this video a little bit so the production quality and the lighting and everything is not, <laughs> not like I normally like to have it. Not that it's all that great anyway, but uh, some of you expressed that you're really anxious to see this tutorial, so I just thought I'd crank one out as quickly as I can for you, uh, at least to help you get started. Now, I may go back and do a more full-on tutorial, but, uh, you know, if you still need this, still need more than I was able to show you today, just let me know if you have any questions. Um, and as always, thanks so much for the great uh, feedback I've been getting. You guys have been very kind. And uh, it really motivates me to keep making these for you. So thank you so much. Um, so if you like these kind of videos, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and hopefully we'll see you again soon.